Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Campbell Soups Gaming Shady Motorsports YouTube channel. About to get started on race day where you could win uh, one, well, you, well for now you can win one, but technically you could win both of these 2009 LMP1 cars. Um, in the very last video, uh, which was the Aston Martin DBR 1-2 um, showcase video. I just realized towards the end of the video, I forgot to ask you guys, uh, let me know in the comment section down below on which cars you guys wanted me to drive. But then I kind of came up with this creative idea um, of between both of the cars, uh, whichever car has the most views, I will get to drive that car. So after showcasing the Aston Martin DBR1-2, um, I think that the past, like after that video, like the past three, four days, the Aston Martin actually held the lead for most views. But then heading towards the Easter long weekend, the Audi R15 TDI video, ended up surpassing the Aston Martin video and eventually when I just checked it before I even started this video and the Audi basically won by a landslide so with that being said the car that I will be driving for both race day events will be the Audi R15 TDI but enough of me talking, we're going to get straight to this event. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And let's get started. And like I said earlier, uh, since the Audi R15 TDI um, got the most views, this will be the car. I kind of was hoping to drive the Aston Martin. In my opinion, I like the Aston Martin DBR1-2 better. But since the Audi received the most views, I will drive the Audi. Um, might as well stick with him. Um, tuning setup. A five-day event. Le Mans 2009. Okay, so it's a continuous event. Uh, goal number one, warm up the tires and get in front of the pack before lap 361. Okay, so I have three hours of instant servicing and Instant R and D. Okay, so, you know what, I might as well just max this out. I 
I might as well max out the breaks too. Okay, so we got seven, five, seven, five. I'm actually thinking about putting one more on. We're just gonna do it, yeah. Okay, so there we go. So six, six, seven, six. Upgrade my driver. I'm gonna max out the principal anyway. Overtake eight opponents before lap 361 while warming up the tires. And since this event more than likely is going to be um, required PR, which means I do not have to worry about bot management. Goal number two, we need to draft more to pick up the pace. Overtake 7 opponents and drive for 10,000 meters and don't get overtaken.
Goal number three. See if you can secure the lead. Try not to over-exaggerate yourself. Oh, overtake Salen back. I probably butchered that name. Oh, okay. The, uh, the Switzerland driver. Final goal for stage 1, get a top 5 finish. Sorry about that guys, I don't, I just don't want my friend to uh, die while doing this event. Just like that, I'm already in the top five. I'm gonna see if I could go to the lead. Again, um, I did not see any uh, recommended PR sign, so obviously this event is required PR, which again means I do not have to worry about that management. So, for this event, you can really go ham. So this Audi is uh, so this Audi has uh, five gears, and the Aston Martin has six gears.
Alright, that is going to be it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. As always, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. Be sure to follow me on social media and on gaming console. I will leave those in the description. And until then, y'all take it easy out there, and I will see you in stage two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Campbell Soups Gaming Shady Motorsports YouTube channel. About to get started on stage two of race day. Um, the 2009 Le Mans season to win one of these 2009 LMP1 cars. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you guys don't miss an upload. And with that said, let's continue. So, uh, goal number one. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with. Go on the track. Uh, hidden average speed. Um, okay, so it looks like we lost a little bit of speed, acceleration, brake, and grip. Before I get started, I am going to max out the principle. This is literally like my second motorsport car where like I literally like just maxed out the principal. I think the last time I maxed out a principal was the Chevy Corvette. Oh, okay. Uh, finish with an average speed of 151. Goal number two, see if you can hit a top speed of 244.
around that thing. Goal number three, see if you can tail me for 45 seconds. And the car is back to, no is back to its normal uh, driving self. The car is back to normal. So, good news there. And I believe that's the Pagani that uh, Eric is driving. I want to hit Eric too hard. Final goal for stage 2, finish a lap within 1 minute 20 seconds.
all right that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far again hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you guys don't miss an upload and with and I will see you all in stage three. And until then, y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe, stay positive. I will see you in stage three. Hello, YouTube. And welcome to stage three of race day featuring the Audi R15 TDI. About to get started on stage three. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so y'all don't miss an upload. And with that said, let's continue. Goal number one. Another car from 2009 in unmistakable uh, hyper rare hyper car, the Aston Martin 177. I'm actually a fan of that car, I'm not gonna lie. Win. Easy enough. Goal number two, another icon from the era, Apagani Hira, and driven by a modern super sports legend in the making, Forrest Phillips. Win with a lead of at least 183 meters. Or 183 meters, I should say. Goal 
Goal number three. Van der Ist, I probably butchered that name again, start in the front, though he will need to be careful not to let the LMP1 draft behind him or he may lose the lead. Win and draft for at least 3,000 meters. And he's driving the Bugatti Veyron. Final goal for stage 3, and now we got a true battle of the downforce here. Put your hand together for the extraordinary Zoe in the mythical Mazda Fury. Another one of my favorite cars, and yes, the Mazda Fury has a lot of downforce. does sound amazing.
Alright, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you guys don't miss an upload. Be sure to follow me on social media and on gaming console. I will leave those in the description. And until then, y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe, stay positive. I will see you in stage four. Hello, motorsport fans, and welcome back to the Campbell Suits Gaming Shady Motorsports YouTube channel. About to get started on stage four of race day. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that you're seeing so far. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that fun stuff. Be sure to hit the bell so you guys don't miss an upload. And with that being said, let's continue. Goal number one, ladies and gentlemen, please watch out, uh, oh, a speed snap. Goal number two, for the next event, our drivers must compete to see who will gain the most commanding lead against the beloved Nissan Classic, so it's a hunter event. Goal number three. Now for the now for the main event. Let's see who can achieve the fastest lap time. And this time we're going to be on the 2009 circuit. And I'm starting on the pole.
so I still keep going in the path because the sky is Final goal for stage 4, a multi-class clash on the Grand Prix server. Win without going off-road. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. You guys already know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Again, hit the bell so you guys don't miss an upload. 
be sure to follow me on social media and on gaming console. I will leave those in the description. And until then, y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe. Stay positive. I will see you all in the final stage of race day. Hello Motorsport fans, welcome back to the Campbell Suits Gaming Shady Motorsports YouTube channel. About to get started on the final goal of race day. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so y'all don't miss an upload. And with that being said, let's get to the conclusion. Goal number one. Um, alright. Our group is starting now. See if we can push from the front. Okay. Oh, that's the upgrading. I'm not upgrading my driver. Um, place first, but warm up your tires to at least 80% until you move up to 7. Past 7. Hold on. Place first, but warm up your tires to at least 60% until you move past 7. Goal number two, nice pace, you're coming up on the pack of prototypes, see if you could work your way past them. Overtake 10 cars.
go to sleep. Goal number three. There are some more of the modern GTE cars in front of you. Try to grab a toe behind them while you move past them. Overtake 12 cars and draft for at least 4,000 meters. Goal number four, um, see if you can keep moving your, keep advancing your position with an average speed of 190. Overtake 15 cars without being overtaken and with an average speed of 190.
as you guys saw in the last video, um, I did reach um, the MS dollar limit for the day. Um, but considering that this is the final goal for this race day event, I decided, you know what? I'm willing to skip on this payday in order to win this car. So without further ado, here it is, the final goal of race day. We're here for a chance to redeem ourselves, keep the car in good condition, and win. Win without damaging the car. And you guys already know.
Alright. Hope you guys did enjoy this event. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, really fun journey. This was a really fun event. I really did enjoy it. 10 out of 10. I will tell you all straight right now. 10 out of 10. I really did enjoy this event. Um, as you can see here, next event starts in 11 days, which means we are probably going to be getting another limited time series event somewhere in between that time span. Um, with that being said, uh, which card, which card did you guys pick uh, for this event? Let me know in the comments down below and which card do you think is better? Again, let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, you guys already know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so y'all don't miss an upload. And until then, y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe, stay positive, and I will see you in the next one. Y'all take it easy.